When I first came across Christopher Ward, I thought fashion brand because everything, the watches, the website looked so neat and slick. The name even sounds like a fashion brand. But then I had two Christopher Ward watches here and especially one of them, the Sealander C63 with the white dial was just amazing. Back then I said like a new apartment because everything looked new and clean and everything was well designed and functional. Just a pleasure. And this I thought again when I saw first images of the brand new announced C60 Trident Pro 300 that will be available in September. So let's go over the specifications. We have here an automatic dive watch that comes in three diameters 38, 40 and 42 and with four colors white, black, blue and green. I will focus on the 38 with the white dial because of personal preference and my experience with such a combo. I will explain this in detail but first the specs. So case diameter 38, length lug to lug is 45, height 11 and lug width 20. The watch has a sapphire crystal on both sides, a screw down crown and is waterproof up to 300 meters. It has a date and a unidirectional bezel with ceramic insert. And inside works the Silita SW201 with 38 hours power reserve. The watch comes on a very well made and comfortable steel bracelet and the price is 1100 euros including VAT or 890 US dollars without VAT. And now let's begin with the design. Here you see the new apartment. We have a super crisp combination of white dial, white indices, white hands. Everything with perfect proportions. Just look at the tip of the hands and their connection with indices and minute scale. Then we see the date on 6, nicely balanced with the logo. You may wonder now if the watch is legible with this white on white. When I handled the C63, I noticed that it wasn't as legible as a blue or dark dial here. But it works. And that because every white plane here wears a metal frame. And if you study these metal frames closely, you will see that there is Grand Seiko DNA in it. What do I mean with that? Not necessarily the form, but the quality of the finishing. Christopher Ward is known for excellence here. You can study indices or hands under strong magnifier and they still look awesome. Here this mix, for example, of a pretty determined brushing, very Grand Seiko, and the high polished facets. And I have the feeling that it especially works with white. The watch looks incredibly elegant for a tool watch. I also like that the dial is very, let's say, empty, very uncluttered. You may notice that Christopher Ward has removed his own name from the dials. Now you find only this block logo there that shall represent the flags of England and Switzerland. In my humble opinion, definitely an improvement. And here you see an image I really love. They just make great cases. Note that curve of the locks and how it goes into the bracelet, just nice. You see a lot of bevels there and every bevel has taken material away so that the watch looks even more slender and lightweight than 11 millimeters may suggest. And you can tell that they use knowledge in higher end components to reach a water resistance of 300 meters with such a small case. The only bit of criticism I'd like to bring up here is the dive watch story. Water resistance for a watch is super handy, but especially the white dial nobody will take into the waves. The specs allow it, but I personally cannot see that piece on a wetsuit. But beside that, for me, the new C60 Trident seems to be a very convincing watch that will be available as set in September. And with that hint, allow me to close this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week.